you know, when when things get rough in one's person's life, you you make a decisions that it it's never, you know, there's no right or wrong decision when you were on when you have to decide the worst thing because you know your kid will be affected with your decision like for my case you know when economy got bad in my country in the Philippines even I'm a professional and I was a dentist in the Philippines practicing 13 years as an orthodontics and when our economy hit by 9-11 and there's no patience, there's nothing and you will just look look up your children you know you have third year high school first year high school and you have a three years old son and a one year old daughter you know you you will think right away you know I need to do something but the hardest is they'll be the one who will be affected because they'll grow up without me when I finally decide that I don't have any choice but to come to United States to to try my luck so I went I went here as a tourist you know and I attended a convention American Dental and my plan was just to to see what America is and to see if you know I can take my children over here but one thing in my mind is I want to bring something with me so the night before I left I took a video of my three years old daughter Trina at the time and five years old son EJ who, who are now both uh, 19 and 17 so when when I was doing the video I asked my oldest daughter please take a video I will going to take this video with me in the States but there's there is no or there's not in me that this video will be my source of strength because that video was the last time I saw my children for the next four years and I didn't know we're going to have that four years that I will not be able to see them again so and you know I I finally found this video like just recently and I showed this to Trina and she was just smiling at me I said who's that cute little girl and I said Maybe that's you. That's the one that I was telling you all the time that, you know, uh, before I left the United States and it's so hard being alone here. And I was just, every night I'm crying and I'm just watching the video and that helps me get through with this. And just looking back, looking back at that video nowadays, it just a treasure to me because looking at them all grown up and successful here it's like we made it you know it's like I'm telling you know the hardest decision that a parent can can do is leave their children behind for them to have a better future and I remember they always tell them that you know it's just like I went to a forest that there's none 
like there's no trail for them to walk by and I just come in here and I clean up all the roads so by the time they come in they have the nice nice road to walk to to grab their dreams it's like I always said there is always light at the end of the tunnel you know when you came from a very poor country and when you heard United States you know there you know there is one thing that you can you know there's one word that went to your mind right away you know uh, land of freedom and land of opportunity but that's not is you know it's easier than that that's what I said all the time it's easier to say than when you get there and I ask myself why is the reason why you're here what is the main reason why you're here and the main reason I'm what I'm here was to to send them to school to give them the best education that they can get they and then I can bring them over and then give them the education that that uh, they deserve and that they want so I said and then I put my dream aside and then work 24 7 as a caregiver to, 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 to sustain their needs and to prepare for them to be here and it just love is you know, life is good because I've learned to grow what I'm doing caring for elderly because for me even if it is so far away from my uh, profession it became my my uh, callings because I find peace I find love and every time I work with them it's very rewarding and and the truth is this job is the one who helped me support my children bring them here and at this moment I'm still doing it and I'm loving it México tiene muy poco, tenía muy poco trabajo en esa época, muy poca, no había que hacer, no había nada de hacer dinero y tuve que emigrar para los Estados Unidos en la fecha del 1965. Quería detenerlo, pero no teníamos manera de hacer dinero. Entonces por eso él venía, siempre venía. Siempre. Mi papá viene al norte desde que yo me acuerdo. Yo me quedé desde muy pequeño. Desde que yo nací él venía al norte. Tengo entendido que yo nací y él acababa de llegar de aquí de Estados Unidos para México. Cuando yo vine para el norte, que yo estaba joven, yo jamás, jamás pensé yo en el sufrimiento de nadie, solamente en mí, solamente yo sufría nomás yo. Una vez que me casé, en el 1977, 76, me casé, entonces ya hubo muchos problemas. Y cuando yo cumplí, como un mes de casado, estaba en otra bolsa en Texas, en el estado de Texas. Trabajaba en el petróleo, en las plantas de petróleo de Texas. Dejando a mi esposa en México, sufriendo, navegando mucho, ella con su niño solita. Era difícil, tenía yo que vivir con mis hijos nada más los mandaba a la escuela, los dejaba a que llegaran, les cerraba la puerta para estar yo cuidándolos. Siempre estaba yo con ellos, no los dejaba salir a ninguna parte, tenía yo que ver por ellos yo sola. Me quedaba yo sola con mis niños, se me enfermaban, tenía que ir con mis hijos a llevarlos al doctor lejos, estaba muy difícil, sufrí. Ella hizo todo lo que estaba a su, a su alcance para, para yo poder ser lo que soy ahora. Un recuerdo bueno, los malos nunca los tomo en cuenta. Cuando yo me desbalagaba 
cuando yo llegaba tarde a la casa, en tres ocasiones llegué tarde a las 12 de la noche, a la una de la, de la mañana ella fue muy dura conmigo y me hizo ver lo malo que era andar a esas horas fuera de la casa Nunca le causé un daño tan grande a mi mujer hasta como al 1993, 94, no estoy seguro que teníamos dos años en Egipto y nos traje fue lo más torpe que hice yo en mi vida, que yo recuerdo, lo más, lo más malo que nunca, nunca me he podido perdonar eso, que dejarla ya sola y traerme yo los dos chiquillos más en mi vida. El día que fue más difícil, el día que se vinieron mis dos muchachitos más, más grandecitos, de 12 y 13 años. Alegría y una ilusión muy grande, mucho muy grande. Pero esa ilusión de inocencia se fue, se fue, se fue. Se fue derrumbando cada vez cada vez más fuerte hasta que me di cuenta de que tenía que estar lejos de mi familia y hasta que tenía que trabajar desde muy temprano hasta muy tarde para así superarnos todos como familia no supe ni cuánto sufrió porque nunca quise que me practicara, no quise que me practicara. Al correr de los años se hablaba de muchas cosas malas del río, se llevaba mucha gente y yo tuve muchos, muchos problemas. Fui espantado muchas veces por el río. Cruzando el río Bravo en una cámara de. en una cámara de, de aire, de hule. El problema era pues tenerse aquí, la mirada estaba muy dura, como 10 veces, como 500 veces más que estaba ahorita. En el día paraba uno la policía, pues solamente en el caballo negro paraba uno la policía, la migración y quien fuera. Era uno raciado por la, por la gente, porque no hablaba inglés. Por lo entregaba esa idea, entregaba a la policía, la policía de la migración. La, la figura de seguridad que te da el valor para tomar cualquier tipo de camino. Y yo nadé mucho toda la vida porque aquí era muy difícil detenerme con la migración, la migración era muy, muchos problemas, la migración, la policía, aquí en Guasumil, la migración chequeaba los filis, por lo menos, lo más que duraba, pues chequeaba era cada tercer día. Pero había lugares que venía todos los días, día tras día, día tras día. La migración estaba en un pueblo de Salinas y venía hasta aquí a los filis todos los días. Se correteaba la gente. Hicimos muchas cosas, un hermano mío y yo. Él se llama Rosendo. Ah, yo tendría 12 años, 13 años. En una plaza de toros yo vendía cerveza. Y de cada 24 cervezas que vendía, me tocaban... Estoy hablando del año 90... 92 a mí me tocaban 10 mil pesos en aquel tiempo todavía eran miles y vendía varios 24 de cerveza y ganaba alrededor de 200 mil pesos y lo dividía con todos había muy poca gente de, sin papeles no había manera de rentar uno, Guasumila era muy chiquito, un pueblo muy chiquito de tiro, de tiro muy chiquito, un pueblo manzanero con muy pocas presas. Al correr del tiempo, con el 84 comenzó a salir poquita mora. Trabajé piscando mora, piscando fresa, 
yo conocí este pueblo por casualidad conocí el pueblo y aquí vivo para pa Texas y aquí en Gozambil duré todo un tiempo navegando mucho, mucho, mucho pero conforme con la oportunidad que se nos dio también a nosotros de llegar a un país que que es hermoso a un país que nos brindaba las oportunidades que que desgraciadamente nuestro México no nos daba y entendí por qué desde hace muchos años este país somos puros inmigrantes yo sal, se hacía noche yo salía a dormir a las huertas mi manzana y como en las huertas pues estaba el pueblo hay muchos perros debajo de los árboles de la noche la señora tenía que llevar una riata para amarrarme de arriba de los árboles para dormir ahí había mucha gente en otras partes, pero yo dormía solo todo el tiempo arriba de los árboles. Es el país de la oportunidad, gracias a Dios. Lo único que sí estoy seguro es que no cambiaría nada de mi historia. Porque gracias a mi historia, somos una familia unida, una familia que no tiene problemas. Luchen, no paren de luchar pero no contra la política, supérense a sí mismos, si saben inglés, aprendan más inglés, si saben computadoras, aprendan matemática, si saben matemática, aprendan ciencia, supérense, no hagan ruido, manténganse callados, Y solito, solito el tiempo va a decir lo que, lo que queremos, el mensaje que realmente deberíamos de tomar. Jamila's Eyebrow Threading, located on 734 East Lake Avenue in Watsonville, is highly popular for exceptional work on eyebrows. Jamila's offers stunning hennas with an infinite amount of ideas on patterns. The marvelous customer service takes walk-ins. Come and visit us today. To make an appointment, call us to 831-331-0633. Jamila's Eyebrow Threading open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Not if I can help it. Coffee Fire Protection Incorporated. Utilizing our experienced installation team and the latest in fire prevention technology, we work to keep your house flame free. Coffee Fire Incorporated. Stay cool, stay happy. Hello, my name is Denise Russo and I'm a registered dietitian, college professor, fitness professional, and founder of Act of Nutrition. Act of Nutrition is a complete wellness program focusing on the four core components of wellness, nutrition, fitness, sleep, and stress reduction. Our feature program is a monthly weight management and wellness program. This program will help you set and regulate goals for wellness and include discussions about current topics in nutrition concluding with a meal preparation demonstration. Active Nutrition includes a full body assessment along with weekly meetings to assess progress and develop strategies for improvement. Active Nutrition is hosted at Seascape Sports Club.
In addition to weekly wellness classes, Seascape Sports Club offers memberships to group fitness and workout facilities. Welcome to El Rosal Mexican Bakery, where we make delicious bread every day, fresh and out of the oven, ready for our lovely customers and you to enjoy. Though we are a bakery, we are diverse in products to sell. We provide groceries, candy, ice cream, piñatas, party supplies, jump houses, with chairs and tables. And you can't miss the best tamales in town. We offer chicken tamales with red or green sauce. Or vegetarian with jalapeno and cheese. But if you're here on the holidays for Christmas, you can get our pork tamales, red or green sauce. And our sweet raisin tamales, only on Christmas. Hope to see you with us soon. Ronzano Sheet Metal is Aptos' premier heating and air conditioning company. We offer furnace, air conditioning, and sheet metal solutions to customers throughout the area. Having been a family-owned and operated business since 2003, with over 30 years of experience, we pride ourselves in providing personalized service to all customers. Whether it's a simple repair or a complete installation, you can rely on us to keep your business or home running smoothly. Call us at 831-688-9050 or visit us online at ronzanosheetmetal.com. bored at home doing nothing? Well, come down to Green Valley Cinema where you can have some of the best popcorn, a soda, and a bag of candy for under $15. See your favorite movie here at GVC. Come visit us at 1125 South Green Valley Road, Watsonville. Phone us at 831-761-8200 or go to greenvalleycinema.com. And don't forget you can receive a small popcorn for joining our newsletter club. dental office of Dr. Jim Alderetti. The goal of Team Alderetti is to provide each and every patient with a positive experience. We strive to make our office unique by providing excellent clinical skills in a warm, friendly atmosphere. Establishing rewarding and lasting relationships with patients is important to us and we pledge excellence in all we do and we look forward to helping you make the most of your smile. Hamlin and Guerrero, Attorneys at Law, is the most trusted and experienced law firm on the Central Coast. They have been providing expert criminal and immigration legal service to the community for over 10 years. The attorneys at Hamlin and Guerrero are truly dedicated to winning your case, no matter the situation. So for all your legal needs, come see the lawyers that care at Hamlin and Guerrero. Call us at 831-420-3500 or visit us at 55 River Street in Santa Cruz. Oh, and I've owned the business for about 18 years now. I feel very grateful.
grateful that we've been able to be a successful shop and um, provide haircuts for many, many people. Nicole, I've been cutting hair here for about eight years. We're excited to uh, introduce waxing and hair color and other styling services to the salon. Um, so we're broadening our clientele and that's really exciting for us. Very. In Max System Landscaping, we can help you get your house look like new again. They are generous on time and work hard. You will get the satisfaction you need in your house. If you are interested, call 831-406-2183 for a new renovation of your house. is known for its outstanding customer service and its clean environment. It's located at 221 Seacliff Drive, Aptos, California, open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 10.30 p.m., and Saturday through Sunday, 7.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. They offer wash and fold drop-offs that not only include your personal clothing, but business as well, such as spa, hotel, housing, and so much more. If you are interested, please visit Seacliff Plaza Laundromat, located at 221 State Park Drive, Aptos, California, and their phone number is 831-688-1589. Again, that is 831-688-1589. Nightingale's home care service provides great care for those who are in need. At Nightingale's, our passion for service comes from a loving heart. We specialize in geriatrics care and other specialties for over four years. Call us at 559-387-6807 or you can email us at nightingaleshomecare at yahoo.com and visit our website at nightingales-home-care.com. If your loved one is frail, call Nightingale.